Okay, this is a nice isosceles triangle. We call this the properties of an isosceles triangle. And if you look closely at it, we are given the median, the median MT to the base AE of an isosceles triangle. So we're going to prove that the median is also the altitude and bisector of the vertical angle. So if we go down and look at what I say over here, it's also, we're trying to show that it's the altitude and bisector of the vertical angle. Okay, so we have to prove that MT is perpendicular to AE. MT is perpendicular to AE. And we're also going to prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Okay? Proof. The two triangles, MAT and ME and ET, are congruent by side, side, side. Let's go back to the picture. Three sides of one are equal to three sides of another. This side is common, so it's side, side, side. Side, side, side. Therefore, they are congruent. Therefore, angle 1 equals angle 2. That means MT bisects the vertical angle. Also, angle 3 equals angle 4. Go down to the bottom. Angle 3 equals 4. Let's say they're equal to X. Therefore, 3 plus 4 is equal to X plus X. And the straight line is 180. And 2x is 180, therefore x is 90. And therefore, mt is perpendicular to ae, or we say it bisects the vertical angle. The biggest question here is you have to pay attention to the vocabulary. Okay? At the, uh, when I have little mini tests, they don't remember the meaning of the words. They can't remember what median is. They don't know what altitude is. And they can't remember what the word bisector of the vertical angle is. Have to focus on the meaning of the words.